Welcome. Original ideas, real life. Welcome. I know you haven't seen me in a minute. Um, I just been venturing out to a whole lot of different shit, so you really can't really haven't had the chance to really see me on the screen that much. No, I have not been tied up in the back of no JT trunk. <laughs> <laughs> he has not pulled down on me like no no uh Thomas Reed. You know, this is not snowfall. You know what I'm saying? I just been uh out here making moves. But uh to address a few issues, I just like to let y'all know that everything that you are seeing is everything that I've already told you. I told you that JT was scamming. He was selling land that didn't own him. He didn't have any rights to. He was creating a fake narrative that he was running around creating water wells. He might have created or helped fund or piece together a water well or two. And took that footage and recirculated it over a million times. And that has just grasped the brain of a lot of individuals. And got a lot of people interested in, oh, what JT doing? You know, maybe I should invest in what JT got going on. Well, go ahead and invest. And a lot of people have invested and they see that it ain't fruit what it said it would you get what i'm saying your boy sold a lot of wolf tickets he said he'd do a lot of things and a lot of things didn't come true and i just hate to be the one that had to have told you time and time again like jt is really getting in your ears so he can get in your pocket unfortunately because Cuddy had to become a victim. I mean, and I, I, I kind of seen that coming. I told y'all about that. I said, JT is only going to use a motherfucker as long as a motherfucker let them use him. Once you figure out, oh, the shit that this nigga got going on ain't really for me, then it'll be, it'll be the, the sooner that you know that, the better off you'll be. But a lot of people, it take a long time. And by the time you have found out or figure shit out, you already ran through a lot of money trying to invest with this nigga. And ain't shit happening out of it. You get what I'm saying? It's sad. The Rico case. <laughs> you know, him getting in touch with a lawyer to try to solidify his bullshit. You got to read in the black and white. See, he probably got some shit in the attribution, attribution that uh, shows that, hey, I'm covered. So what you say ain't really got too much of a profound effect on me. That's why he's been able to get away with shit so long. But as you can see, another person thought they could get away with shit so long and the shit caught up with him. And that's Donald Trump. See, you can't hide your assets and your, your numbers Away from what's really being made and what's really what you really got. You're making up fake numbers so you can get shit. And that goes from saying I made a million dollars when you only made a hundred thousand dollars, but you defraud in the bank and you defrauding your shareholders and the people that's investing in you. Get what I'm saying? So you gotta look at it at all angles. And JT probably had looked at it at all angles or which way he could do this shit. We're getting away with it and having the least amount of repercussions. And he's been able to skate on the ice for a long time. That's because a lot of people just keep on getting brainwashed. And they be, oh, man, you know, Fig, Fig really, he really changing people's lives. He's he's really doing, like my man said, <laughs> you cannot win the people over with cold pizza. You get what I'm saying? Cold pizza and fake uh, fake promises. Because a motherfucker is only going to listen to the shit for so long. You get what I'm talking about? Shout out to AT Town. ATM Town. Um, 
my man, I, I guess, you know, he ain't had his little cross pass with, with Fig and shit ain't work out too well with him. And I, unfortunately, if you would have found my page and you would have stumbled across my videos, you would have had like got a hint of what was going on. See, I kind of beat around the bush a lot of shit with saying shit because I have to watch what I say on my channel. So I throw a lot of joking and shit in there. I might jump around in a circle. I talk in circles. That's because I'm like, motherfuckers not taking this shit serious anyway. So I just upload a video, a, a one too many video, talking in circles, just so y'all can understand and make the title big enough where it it grasp the attention of the audience. But in reality, I'm just trying to forewarn you of the shit that JT got going on. Like, you know, an evil motherfucker that's whipping us or shit in the pot. And I'm like, nah, this nigga about to go out here and poison a whole bunch of people. That's fake. And I, and I tried to warn motherfuckers. This is a Jim Jones, a person that's trying to create a cult. Um, and it just ain't working. I mean, it probably worked for a while, but it's not working. Um, man, shout out to Pew too, man. When I first started my channel up, a lot of y'all might not know. That, uh, you know, that was one of the first people that I kind of bumped, uh, brush shoulders with. And then, you know, we kind of, we kind of kicked it off. And, um, that's my man's. I don't know, you know, how things going with him, but I just like to shout out him and, uh, let him know that, yeah, your, your dog is here and I'm back, baby. I know a lot of people been wondering what's going on with me. Ain't nothing going on. I just been chilling, man. I got a family. I've been pushing out these Roddies and, uh, just been doing my family shit and trying to get my mind and body and soul right. And now that I'm in the rightful place, I'm back, baby. You know, it take a little bit of time for a person to get this right. You got to make sure you're right up here before you can be able to talk to people and for people to understand where you're coming from. Because a motherfucker been lost it up there and, and lose everything. And I ain't trying to do that, baby. Yeah, man, it's sad that we live in a time where you got people that's that's constantly trying to take advantage of the motherfuckers that got the same color skin as me and you. You get what I'm saying? So if you're a black man or a black woman and you calling yourself an entrepreneur, man, go hire some more people of your color or your background. I don't care if Tom, Dick, Joe, and Harry got a background that prohibit him from being able to get a job down the street at, at Tom or Terry's spot. You get what I'm saying? You got to give him that opportunity. And us as black people have to stop giving ourselves that stereotype of where you can't be trusted or where a motherfucker be like, that's the shit I'm talking about. That's the attitude or the... No, man, you got to be able to carry yourself with a little bit more decency to be able to put yourself in positions. And what I mean by that is how you carry yourself is how far you will get in life. If you got that I don't give a fuck attitude or I'm ripping motherfuckers off or I'm steady scamming motherfuckers, I'm shut down shop, I'm open up shop over here, I'm creating this and I'm, I'm dysfunctioning and that and you just keep creating it and fucking up, right? Now you're creating that stereotype of all motherfuckers of your color does the same shit. Everybody's not like JT. A motherfucker is not always asking to put their hand in another person's pocket. Hey, it's fine if you want to help donate to a cause, but let the cause be right. Don't have a motherfucker donate to some shit that you know is 100% fake and the proceeds is, the profits and proceeds is going straight to your pocket because then you, you defrauding you telling the motherfucker something and you're doing something different. You know what I'm saying? And that's where a person get a, a attitude or they get feel like they got to get some shit off their chest. You get what I'm talking about? I remember when I first, you know, got up on the JT subject, he was over there doing some some real some good shit at first, but then it started turning to some real devious shit. You know, like he started bumping heads with uh this female Queen L. And if you don't know about her, go check her channel out. Um, 
she got good content and she doing a good thing over there. Um, but JT took advantage of her. He had her come over and uh, I got this land, da, 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 da. but it's going to be my way. And what, and what she did was she's like, fuck that. I'd rather just deal with whoever I'm going to deal with straight, find my own people and do it my way. Because just by seeing your track record, I know you an entrepreneur. I know you got your hands in this and that. I know you connected with this and that person and you can make certain shit happen just by being JT. But it's a lot of bad stigma that come with your name. So let me not put myself in a position where I'm going to regret some shit and fuck up our friendship or whatever we got. And that's what she did. And at the end of the day, he still ended up being a snake that he is and bitter. Start talking shit about her, start trying to blackball her and, and fuck up her little contracts and deals that she had over there. All she was trying to do was do the same thing that he was doing, but do it on her own. He, it, it, it was like this. If I ain't got no hand in it, you ain't doing shit. And this ain't the first time Fig and done some shit like that. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying is keep your grass cut very short. Be on the lookout for snakes and rats because nowadays you can't trust too many people. A motherfucker that you think is going to be in your best interest might be in your, might not be in your best interest. So with that being said, you'll have to wait for the next episode whenever I feel like I'm going to drop it, but it'll be very soon. I won't keep you waiting and um, we're going to keep this show rocking and we're going to keep the flow rolling with the river. See, original ideas, real life.